In this video, we'll be looking at how to find the equation for sine and cosine graphs. Our first example, we have a sinusoid that starts at the origin and heads upward and hits a maximum of 6 and then comes back down and hits the axis at 180 and then hits a minimum of negative 6 and hits the axis at 360. Now this graph from here to here, that's one period of our sinusoid. So uh, we've not done any horizontal stretching. Um, the only thing that we've done is we've changed the amplitude. Um, so since it heads up from the origin, that means it's a sine curve, and the amplitude is 6. So our equation for this curve is y equals 6 sine x. Again, we have a sinusoid. Um, it starts at the origin, but this time it heads down. And it does its entire curve, or one period, from 0 to 2 pi. Now we know 2 pi is the same as 360 degrees. So this has not been stretched horizontally at all. The only thing that's changed is the amplitude. The amplitude is 3, but since it heads down from the origin, that means that our coefficient of our sine curve is negative 3. So the equation is y equals negative 3 sine x. Our next example, we have a sinusoid. This time, if we check the y-axis, we see that it crosses the y-axis when our angle is 0. And we're in radians again, so um, that's no problem. We just need to check to see if it hits its maximum again at 2 pi. And you see that it does, so it's not been stretched horizontally any. Um, all we've done is uh, change the amplitude. Now we know that a uh, usual cosine curve um, starts uh, when the angle is 0 um, at 1, but if our uh, maximum is 5, that means our a value for the equation is going to be 5. Our equation then should be y equals 5 cosine x. Our next example We have a sinusoid that um, hits a minimum on the y-axis. So that means we have a negative a value for the coefficient of cosine. And it uh, hits the negative again at 360 degrees. So again, we've not stretched it horizontally any. We just changed our a value. Um, and it looks like uh, negative 3 is um, the coefficient for our cosine curve. So this equation is y equals negative 3 cosine x.